Okay, uh, <clears throat> first time guest on the show. He is Dayton Quest Center founder Stephen K. Haynes, and I want to read you a little something. A little something. He's authored 19 books, World Traveler, Black Belt Hall of Fame, uh, ordained teacher in Japanese esoteric meditation, advisor council on the University of Dayton, serves as protector. He once served as a protector to the, one of my favorite people in the world, the Dalai Lama. I could listen to him speak forever. Wisdom constantly comes out of this man's mouth. He's a great man. And he's an actor. I am humbled to have him on the show. This man has done everything. I will tell you, he is the most greatest and talented man in the world. Please make welcome Stephen K. Hayes, everybody. Hey, uh, hello. <laughs> What a resume, young fella. <laughs> what a resume. I mean, I'm sure there's probably things that I didn't read. Oh, yeah, that's the short form. The short that's form. the short form. <laughs> the Dalai Lama. My yeah, God. you like the Dalai Lama. Oh, I love it. I was so privileged to travel with him all those years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and just <clears> as you said, uh, he can adjust to whatever audience he's talking to. You know, mm -hmm. uh, be a brilliant guy. I could just listen to him forever. So, Stephen, now, where did all this start for you in the world of martial arts? How did that all start for you? Well, you know, this is uh, one of those strange things. Way back in the early 1950s, uh, I just had this idea. I mean, there were no martial arts schools around, no Bruce Lee movies or anything like that. Uh, I saw a uh, Lassie TV show. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is like 1956. Uh, I was a little kid. And uh, in this Lassie TV show, uh, they had a Japanese exchange student over. Now, remember, this is like eight years after yeah. World War II. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and some of the barnyard kids were picking on him. And uh, he used this judo to defend himself. And you know, I was just transfixed watching this. And then later in the show, his uh, parents, you know, bad people, come over and try to set the barn on fire, and they get injured. And this little kid, this Japanese exchange student, um, comes up with some kind of a homemade herbal remedy and heals them. Ah, uh, you know, this was just too much. All of a sudden, he was the man. He was the man, yeah. you know, and... and uh, I was determined to learn this, and it took me years and years to finally find a teacher, but that's where it began. Where was your sensei? Where did it all start for you? Where? Well, I, uh, <clears throat> I got books out of the library in Kettering. Uh, they wouldn't check them out to me. My mom had to check them out because mm. this dangerous martial arts stuff, you know. And uh, finally, as a freshman at Miami University, I was able, they had a a bunch of veterans from Korean War, now the Vietnam War was going on at the time, they had a karate program. And uh, I wasn't in the Navy ROTC, but I managed to talk my way into it. And uh, that's how it all started. I love the way you say it right, karate. Karate, you said it right. <laughs> Americans go karate. Oh. <laughs> in Japanese, it's karate. And yes. you, you said it right, yes. you had the Japanese. That's, that's, that's perfect. So that's all a start of you, but then acting, books, how do you, with all the stuff you've done, how do you time to write all these books and, and do all the things you've done? Well, you know, I studied theater mm -hmm. when I was at Miami University, mm -hmm. and, uh, but you know, I look like everybody else in America. So when I got to Japan, I could, uh, I had an agent. Um, my face was different. Um, there were a lot of shows I was in. The ones some older Americans might remember. I was in Shogun. Oh, the I remember Shogun. Yeah. And I'm only 27, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I uh, got my start in Japan. And it was great because I could work for just a little while. They'd pay me phenomenally well. 
And then I had all the rest of the time to train and visit castles and uh, tour around Japan. So we have a school in town uh, that we're going to be talking about later. You have a school that you uh, started? I do. I do. Uh, Centerville mm -hmm. um, on Far Hills Avenue, mm -hmm. the Quest Center. And uh, I started that in 1995. Uh, before that, I was traveling around, mm -hmm. and uh, my wife is... Japanese, so we would go back to Japan for part of the year, take our kids with us. Kids learn Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, they spent time with their grandparents and cousins. and But then it got to where they were of an age where I, I couldn't just take them out of school. So I needed something to do locally, so we started the Quest Center. Wow. So you speak Japanese fluently? Well, passably. I used to speak it better 40 mm -hmm. years ago. Well, yeah. test me. In the morning, ohio gozaimasu. Very good. Good afternoon is konbawa. Mm -hmm. Good evening is konnichiwa. Wow, where did you pick up Japanese? Ninkyo kashaya doshin. That I didn't recognize. Because I made it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. If you said, oh, that means you're a wonderful guy. I said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and thank you is arigato. Very good. Hey. Very good. Language is a hobby of mine. I'm learning Russian. Are you French, really? Japanese. Most important, sayonara. Sayonara. Goodbye. Sayonara. So language is always very important to me. I'm wow. trying to learn 50 words in nine different languages. So it's oh, that's very great. important to me. That's great. School's going very well, I hear. School's going great. Yeah, we're doing really well. Um, we have a very large adult population, but we have a, a young people's training as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, Dayton isn't a real violent city. Um, all you could, certain areas you could find a fight if you wanted to, but... Uh, uh, you ever been to a city commission meeting? <laughs> have to come Whoa. to the yeah. Oh, got it. <laughs> so, you know, we uh, emphasize <clears throat> martial arts as a vehicle for uh, approaching other challenges in life. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's a little more exciting than being a golfer. Uh, well, you know, explain a little bit about this meditation, Japanese meditation that we were talking about. Mm. Well, um, how's it different from other meditations? Mm. This specifically is set up to counter the kind of nervousness or anxiety that would come up uh, if you're confronted, uh, conflict, confrontation. Mm -hmm. And we teach people just to straighten their back up take a very deep breath in, eyes open, eyes forward, take a deep breath in, and then ease it out. And if you do that before you say anything, you know, you might be tempted to say something and regret it later. Right. Uh, gives you a moment to figure that out. Silence uh, is golden. Oh, yeah. And if somebody's, like, planning some kind of bad news for you, looking at them and taking a deep breath in, you know, they might figure you know something that you're not supposed to know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a little bit different than yoga. Yoga, you close the eyes and get in position. It's a little bit different than yoga then. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, actively moving. And the people always have a training partner mm -hmm. uh, in oh. our martial art. Yeah, that's kind of different oh, okay. from a lot of the others. There's always a training partner. Uh, so you have to learn how to coordinate timing mm -hmm. and distance and leverage. Uh, it's not just a crude speed and power right. type of a thing. Uh, so we have uh, people of all ages that are training. Okay. That's super. Mm. We're going to find out more about the school when our next guest comes out. I know you're pretty proud of this guy. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. he wouldn't have the job if you weren't. Yeah, I'm uh, real blessed yeah. to have Shane in my life. And we're blessed to have you here. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.